So I've recently changed the way I plan my day from using, you know, the normal um, planners that I've used to have to reusing or using my iPad for planning my day. So as you can see in here, I used to have um, a planner where I'll jot down my notes or things that I would have to do with my monthly or weekly tasks. I loved using the paper before because it has been convenient for me, but at the same time the feel and look of the paper. However, the problem with that is that I typically would have another notebook um, to do or to list down my to-do list and sometimes with having two notebooks like that it could get really difficult to kind of keep track of everything in one place that's why i recently kind of like utilized my ipad to use different apps and also use um, my ipad for everything all my notes my to-do list in one place so let's get started and i wanted to show you a couple of applications that i use for my planners as you can see in here i have three or four different apps that i currently use um, by the way this is not a sponsored video i really just love this app that i recently just started to use it's a pencil planner pro and what i like about this app it's it's just everything i need in one place as you can see in here there's different views this is a day view i have my weekly view and i also have my monthly view in here and of course you also have your weekly or your yearly view right here the day view you also have your reflect and also you have your task pane in here on the task you can do a couple of things you have ongoing for the month um, depending on what you like and what i like about the day view is you also have your calendar in here just so you can see which date you are in a couple of dates coming in and also your to-do list i typically use this quite a lot especially if um, i like to jot down the first three things i want to get done within the day it kind of just keeps me on the list of my to-do things that now on the day view what i really like about this is i will change the orientation to portrait just so i have a couple of more space to write on but i like that it has a day view so i can put in a couple of things i also have or this app also have the typical notes um, pencil and highlighter which i really really like whenever i want to go ahead and highlight um, or color code my task depending on how urgent and what kind of task it is. I really like it on the day page as well. You have your notes on the right. I, for myself, I typically use this as a food diary or you could also do this as a meal prep on a day-to-day -day basis if you like to. Um, as you can see in here, I just put in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It really depends on you. If you would like to use the notes, on anything you like and I typically always kind of use my highlighter and as you can see in there you you can change the color for the highlighter as well besides for the presets now back on the weekly view what I like about here is that everything is connected so I've put in the weekly as a test here and this would appear on your daily pages as well so whatever you put on your weekly would appear on your day pages like in here on the top now it would also appear on your weekly pages and this would also reflect on your monthly pages so vice versa let's say on this test i put in something on my monthly page let's say it's on my birthday on november 21st and this should also appear on your daily and your weekly page so let's take a look in here um this would appear on my weekly i just need to find november 21st in here and there we 
go. It should appear right on top. That's basically your monthly page or your weekly page. And I'm gonna find it on my daily page as well. And it should also appear right there. So that's really what one thing I really like about this app is that you don't have to update each of those pages. Now in here on your Rearly, you can also do a couple of highlights. And what I like about the yearly pages is that it has the notes on the right pane. For this, I typically write down um, important dates. Um, but typically, I would always put in important birthdays or if there's any kind of anniversaries, anything like that. Um, this is where I would typically put in those dates. So if every month um, I would or every yearly page, I would go in and see what are the important dates for me. Really handy, which I really love about this app. Now, the second app is Polar. It is absolutely free and you can go ahead and download and check out how this works. Um, for Polar, it's only a monthly view, which could be handy for those people who only like to view their calendars or the planner on a monthly view itself. So as you can see in here, you click on date, um, you have the option to write down in different colors and you can also use the highlighter function as well. So if you go ahead and put it on that date, what happens is that it will just appear on your monthly view like that. Really nice as well if you like monthly and you can also import some photos if you like those kind of like um, scrapbooks kind of planners and you just like to add in more images. This could be um, a calendar app that you can use because it uses the Apple Pencil support. So you can put in a photo and then you can write down on top of that anything you like as well. Now, um, the third app is Youpad Late. This is also a free app. This is a great alternative if you don't want to spend any on your planner. You have different daily planners or templates that you can use weekly planners and also monthly planners in here. So I'm just going to choose one daily planner template that they have. It's really nice. Um, and then like the pen in here, it kind of looks like a signing pen. Uh, you have different colors as well that you can choose from. Um, one thing I really like about this is just the way it wrote. It's just, I like the the font um, that it produces. And also you have the option to highlight the app as well. So really nice. And you can also toggle the dates if you wanna go jump on to the other one. And one thing that's also nice feature in here is that it has the kind of zoom feature similar to GoodNotes where you can um, zoom in and write that way if that's something that's quite important for you. It's free, you have different templates to choose from and I love the um, font with the pen that it currently use in here as you can see daily planner, weekly, monthly, and they also have yearly planner if you like those templates. So really check it out. It's called Youpad Late and I think they have the um, paid version as well. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you feel it was helpful, like that button and subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified every time I post new videos. Any questions, comments, leave them down below and hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye.